PNG coffee is one of the best coffee in the world. This is where my coffee roaster is. We pour this into this one. Once you pour green bean into here, it gets into the drum. It gets roasted there. It's eating here. Now this is run by gas and power as well. The power turns this. It gets the motor to turn. The gas fires up the drum. Gets it up. The coffee gets roasted. Just less than 12 minutes, you can roast 5 kilos. And it's already enough. This one is a medium roast, is it? Yeah, that's medium roast. That's medium roast. It's all, it's cooling up now, now ready to go. From here it goes to the grinding machine, gets to the cup, bang. This one is the cappuccino. Yep. There you go. That's from the freshly roasted and blended coffee. While the price of a coffee cup remains unchanged in coffee shops, the price of coffee at the farm gates continue to rise and fall. John Simon, the former Minister for Agriculture and Livestock, who is now a coffee exporter, explains why farmers continue to experience the changes in the price of coffee. In, uh, in Papua New Guinea today, everyone is saying the coffee price has gone down. That's what the price is on the market. I mean, out on the, uh, out on the roadside buying, the coffee depots, everyone is paying less than five kina. And I want, to, I want to say this statement and make it very clear. The copy price has not gone down. This is just a simple thing to do with supply and demand. They're saying there's a lot of coffee in the market, the price has gone down. Why I'm saying the price has not gone down? Because, you see, the cup price, I'm putting it this way, the cup price has not gone down. The cup price is still the same. But the market price has gone down. So if you go to one of these coffee shops and you wanted to buy a cup of coffee, you ask them for the price. They'll give you the same price that's, that has been there three months ago. So the copy price on the cup is still the same. But the copy price in the market has gone down. <clears throat> now that's the sad reality in Papua New Guinea when we talk about coffee and cocoa and when we're talking about cash crops and our commodity. Mr. Simon has gone out of his own way to look for coffee markets in the bigger economies to help PNG coffee farmers enjoy the cup price than the market price. So what I'm doing now is I am trying my best to establish my own market. That's why I travel to Manila, I travel to Dubai, I am traveling to other bigger economies. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to establish warehouses in those countries. Then I'm going to export coffee there. Then I, what I want to also do is set up print size. You see, you can't go to any of these uh, big coffee, uh, coffee shops, cafes in the world today and sell your coffee. Coffee is a seasonal crop. Farmers enjoy the market price when the supply is low and demand is high. But when the supply is high and demand is low, it affects the farm gate price. Mr. Simon believes another way to address this locally is to have a standardized warehouse to safely store the coffee beans when they're surplus in the market. He's calling on coffee exporters to have proper storage facilities for PNG coffee. The coffee price has not gone down. It is just because of the surplus coffee in the market. But this is where the responsibility is on the government and on the exporters to make sure you build a proper storage facility. And you can pick up the coffee now and you store it properly. Coffee can stay for more than six to eight months without losing its quality if you have a better storage facility. Why are we rushing and dropping the price down? I feel very sad for our farmers. Mr. Simon is also appealing to the government and relevant authorities to intervene and help coffee farmers enjoy cup price rather than market price. I am going by the cup and I'm not going by the market. 
To me, the copy price has paid a cup has not dropped. It's only the market price. Because we are being suppressed by the big players in the coffee market today. And they keep on playing around with the price and playing around with us. Because this is the time that they will buy coffee very cheap. And when the season returns to like the coffee plus is over, they will make a lot of profit from the coffee because the price is still the same. So why can't we do it here? So my appeal also is to the... Uh, to our banks in this country, to the government. The government is putting a lot of money to, to support the SME. I think the government should also put money to support the coffee exporters today. And they must buy coffee at the, at the best price, at the same price, 7 kina, 8 kina, 9 kina, 10 kina today. So that the, 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 the difficulties the coffee exporters are also having is this. There's so much coffee. And with the limited cash that they have, if they buy all the coffee, they're gonna run out of cash. So they're going to try, that, I think that's what they're doing, is trying to keep the price at that level so that they buy a lot of coffee. But who's suffering? The farmers are suffering, the four Papua New Guineans. So how do we put together and keep the price as it is? That's where the government should come in. And the government should now buy all the coffee. Because nothing's wrong with the price. And when the, when the coffee season's over, the price is still the same you will still recover your money. So that is my appeal. I'm appealing also to the banks. The bank in this country, this is about a time that they should fund some of those coffee exporters so we can keep the buying, uh, the buying price above seven kina.